I feel a type of way Yeah, I don't know about the real side of the story Can't live if it is what it is If I lose it right now Brazil? <laughs> Oi galera, tudo bem? Now, today, ai meu Deus, we are here with a video that we have never. What's never in Portuguese? Is it nunca? Maybe? I don't know. But this is a video that we have never, ever, ever in the life of me have never done, okay? This is called Brazil or England. Now, in this video, I am going to have a few sort of like questions and I have to say if I think Brazil is better at it or England is better at it. Like a question might be, who has the nicest people? And I have to say Brazil or England and then I explain why. Um, now... This will be very, very interesting to actually see how much I dislike England and how much I like Brazil. <laughs> and obviously, some things I might not be able to completely answer because I haven't actually traveled to Brazil yet. But I've been, I've, I've had my channel about Brazil for over a year. I interact with Brazilians every single day. And I, obviously, I was interested in Brazil even before my channel, so years, but really a year of really learning about Brazil. So I think I have quite a good understanding without even going to brazil bro but obviously yeah some things are going to be a little bit hard to answer because i haven't been to brazil but we will see and uh, yeah i'm very interested to see my opinions on this and if you do hate me after this video that is fine so yo let's get into uh this video okay so the first thing is who has the best people i knew this <laughs> now for me this is an easy 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 question 100 percent brazil brazil has the nicest people by an absolute mile for me that is a way way easy question um i'm not um, oh my god i'm not saying british people english people are like evil but i way prefer brazilians and how brazilians are you guys are honestly probably the nicest people on earth like i'm talking for a majority for the majority of brazilians brazilians are so goddamn kind bro my mum, ah oh, bless her and my sister they were saying um yesterday because i don't know if you know but my sister's just had a baby and uh, on instagram i like put her on my story and stuff and they were like saying brazilians are so kind because you guys were like sending them so lovely messages and my sister was like so happy and yeah she was just so like happy about that like she never received so many kind messages and they were all brazilian because brazilians hearts are warmer than a volcano bro <laughs> which country has the best music i knew deus yo this is gonna shock this is gonna shock people i think this is actually gonna shock people with music I'm actually going to say Brazil. I'm going to say Brazil. I know that's going to shook people because there's a lot of big artists from England. And I mean, that obviously is from Brazil, but you know, there's a lot of huge artists from England. But if I'm being realistic and thinking about the music I listen to every day, like daily, I listen to more Brazilian music daily than I do music from England, bro. It is a fact. Obviously, my two most ones I listen to the most is probably music from Brazil and England and obviously quite a few from the USA because the USA has like a billion trillion artists, bro. But yeah, honestly, I would actually say I prefer Brazilian music and I know there's actually Brazilians who prefer like music from England and the USA than their actual music. But for me, personally, I enjoy Brazilian music a lot more, and I listen to it a lot, lot more, bro. Um, now, I, I love Brazilian funk because you just start shaking. But I do know a lot of Brazilians don't like Brazilian funk because the lyrics are a bit, the lyrics are a bit, can be, they can be a bit holy moly guacamole, you know? But I love Brazilian funk, bro. And not just Brazilian funk, I love so many different types of Brazilian music. Iveti, Iveti Sangolo, Queen. So, oh my, Iveti Sangolo is an absolute queen. Queen, queen of the world. Queen of the carnival is what I call her. And um, yeah, there's many, many, many artists from Brazil that I listen to daily. And yes, there is a few from England as well. But personally, 
I'm gonna say I prefer Brazilian music because I listen to Brazilian music more and I I twerk when I listen to Brazilian music. So Brazilian music wins. Which country is the most beautiful? The best beauty, the best beauty. Oh, yo, okay, hold up. Well, I would have to say Brazil again. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of Brazil's like main things, bro. The beauty. Brazil has like some of those beautiful places in the world. Obviously, we've got the Christ the Redeemer, which is where everyone wants to go. Uh, and then the, the, one of my favorite places in Brazil. I can't remember how you say the name. It's like I G U Z A, I think. Like Iguza. Iguza. I'm not too sure, but it's like Iguza Falls or something. And it's like all those waterfalls and stuff. One of the most beautiful places on earth. I want to go there. And then obviously, there's the Amazon, bro. Everyone knows the Amazon. There's just so many places in Brazil that are honestly amazing and so beautiful. Like, Brazil has some of the most beautiful places on Earth. Brazil is a place where people want to go to experience the beauty. England, on the other hand, well, what do we have? Yeah. Okay, so obviously we have, like, I guess, London? Like the palace and stuff, Big Ben. I guess Big Ben's quite cool. I don't England. I guess London's quite cool for people who don't live in England. But for me, Eng London's just just a city, really. But I suppose for people who are like, if you're a Brazilian, I suppose looking at London would be insane because it looks so British. I guess. <laughs> and there is a place in England called like the Valleys or something. I can't quite remember what it's called, and that's a really nice place. I've never been there though. But yeah, I mean there are some beautiful places in England as well. But personally, Brazil beats that one easy which country has the best food <laughs> now i can't really answer this question because i've never tried brazilian food <laughs> but uh yeah i'm making brigadeiro later for the video which i was meant to do ages ago but my sister had a baby and then she was around every single day and it's a bit like ah there's a screaming baby um but it's fine we're doing that today but obviously I'm gonna have to say England has better food because I've never tried Brazilian food, but I'm sure as soon as I try that Brigadeiro, I will come and that will change. That will change, bro. Brazilian food will be the best by a mile. And now I do know Brazilian food is amazing and Brazil is known for its food and it looks so good and I can't wait to try it. But because I've never tried it, I can't say it's better because that's just not being honest because I've never tried it. So... Right now, it's obviously English food because I eat that every single day of my life, almost every single minute. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, right now it's English food, but I'm pretty sure after I make my brigadeiro, it will change to Brazilian, bro. <laughs> weather. Which country has the best weather? Yet again, obviously I can't really say, but from what I've heard Brazilians, because actually a, a big topic I talk with Brazilians a lot is the weather, because obviously the weather in most of Brazil is really different to England, because England is just bad, basically. Like, I, I don't even, like, every country beats England's weather, I'm sorry. England has the worst weather in the world, and any English person would tell you that, bro. Any British person would say, the UK has the worst weather, specifically England. England has the worst weather. Any English person would tell you that, bro. It, it's not that it's always cold, because well, it is, but it's how the weather just changes so quickly. Like, it could go from, like, oh, it's pretty sunny for, like, a 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, rain, cold, clouds, wind. England's weather is the worst, so I'm saying Brazilian weather because I don't see how it could be worse than English weather, bro. <laughs> the best animals. Oh my god. I'm gonna stand up for this one because this one is so easy. This one is so easy. Brazil. Brazil has capybaras. Brazil has cool looking monkeys. Brazil has so many cool looking animals. Brazil has the best animals. And that one is easy, okay? That one is an easy question. Brazil obviously has the best animals. Come on. Come on. How could England have better animals than Brazil? Think about this, bro. What do we have? We have squirrels, hedgehogs, foxes, sheep, cows. They're boring, bro. <laughs> Brazilian tea or English tea? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But you've got Brazilians, you've got to admit, it's got to be English tea, bro. England is the boss of tea. Braz Eng England is the boss of tea. I've never tried Brazilian tea, but England 
is the absolute boss of tea okay you know the stereotype of english people is that every single british person or english person drinks tea every day so the stereotype is even saying that we are the bosses of tea and I'm, I'm not gonna take it i'm gonna take it as a compliment because tea is actually really nice so and i do pretty much drink it almost every day so yeah the stereotype isn't wrong british people are addicted to tea oh that sounded weird <laughs> best memes Ooh, best memes. I knew those. You. <laughs> uh, honestly, I would have to say Brazil again. <laughs> because Brazil, the boss of memes. Brazil is known as the boss of memes. We can be known as the boss of tea. Brazil is known as the boss of memes, bro. Uh, Brazil makes probably the best memes I've ever seen in my life. Like, I get about 20 billion memes made of me every single second of every single day. So... Brazil's memes are number one, okay? I, even though the English make pretty good memes. Okay, guys, and that was me doing Brazil or England. And as you could probably tell, I prefer Brazil. <laughs> and I've never even been to Brazil. But, uh, yeah, so I think you can guys tell. I, um, well, just look at, look at, look at, look what just happened. <laughs> But uh, yeah, obviously I'm not saying England is terrible. It's not if you if you have the opportunity to come to England come to England for sure It's a, it's a very Probably quite an interesting place for someone who doesn't live in England like for a Brazilian England is probably really really interesting um, Because it, it is quite different to the rest of the world really but the thing with England is that wherever you go It looks the same like you would understand what I mean like all the houses look identical, bro <laughs> It, like, you, if like if I went on like a map and they just dropped me somewhere and I had to guess where I was and if it was England I would guess it was England in seconds because England has this look That you just know it's England if you're from England and you look at England You just know it's England because England has this look and it's just so easy to tell it's England, bro So so easy, but yeah, anyway, that was that video if you'd like another video like this make sure to like and subscribe and ciao